Welcome everyone back to the Brickitech studio where things always seem to be happening. One day we're making a Lego amusement park. Next day I'm over here putting new shelves in. Might have to give you guys a bit of a tour to give you the background on this, but before we used to have this shelf that was under our projector screen here. This used to house a 65 inch TV and I put that there thinking it'd be a great thing for shelving, which spoiler alert, these are much better. But what I had here before was this. And as you can see, if you put your hand up here, there isn't a whole lot of space for Lego sets on there. So I ended up going on to Target's website and I got these shelves. There's two of these here. These are room essentials. I'll link them down below if anybody's interested. But what I love about these is that they're traditionally made to be stood up, or I guess you could do either thing, but so you could stand it up like this. But in my case, two of these together, if I step back a little bit here, two of these together is perfect for under the projector screen there. And I can load 16 Lego sets in here, or maybe more if I have something that's smaller. And that's what today's video is pretty much going to be. I've been shooting a vlog assembling these, but I need to decorate them. And I thought I'd bring you along with me on that process. This is going to take us into very dangerous territory. So be warned, things are gonna get a little scary. Specifically in the storage room here where all of my built Lego stuff is being housed right now. And I'm realizing as I'm looking at this that the vast majority of the stuff that I still have built is probably too big to even fit on there with the exception of maybe these cars up here. Uh, so I'll look around and we'll, oh, there's something that fits. I'll try to put some stuff out that you guys can see. We got a Boba Fett helmet. Let's see how it looks. We'll just put him in there for now. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra space in there. If you're wondering why I didn't put the backings of these on, well, they only gave me four of them for each of these. So it's only like that one and that one would be full. And then you're supposed to put those baskets that pull out in here. But for me, it's all Lego. So we're just gonna load this up. And I think the color of all the stuff under there, hopefully is gonna make this look really great. Starting with one set and we'll see what this turns into. We don't even have to go to the dungeon for some of these sets. We could pull another helmet out here and maybe, maybe these can go side by side. I know they're not really from the same universe, but you know, something like that would look kind of cool, right? Oh, better idea. Grogu. It's a tight fit, but I think that looks cool. That was Mandalorian. That'd be amazing looking. Make that Lego. Maybe they are. Let's keep going. Clear my whole shelf off over here. We'll get the Jeep. Depending on how much stuff I have, you could do stuff like this where it's more than one thing in each one. I imagine we're gonna fill this up, but that's kind of cool, right? Who doesn't love Jeeps and Carnage? My two favorite things in life almost. Oh, how about the duck over there? The duck would look fantastic inside one of these. Maybe like right here. And we'll put that up there. One thing though about this new setup is Clark is gonna be all over this stuff. I guarantee it. He's gonna be pulling these things out. We'll put that brick in there as well. I love the little double ups. That looks good. All right, so maybe we'll get 32 sets in here. Steamboat Willie, who's gonna blend right in to all the stuff. Let's put Steamboat down here. Can't even see it there. It disappears. I'd love to see D2 fit on there. Are you too tall? Oh, by the littlest of bits. Sugar Shack, you're gonna have to go on the other shelf where I'm taking everything from. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh, he's still too tall. He's too tall everywhere. Shoot. He's gonna have to go on the top. Somebody has to be sacrificed. Who's gonna be sacrificed? Probably the pirate ship. This is this is way cooler than the pirate ship, don't you guys think? You just sit tight there, D2. We'll figure out a spot for you. Creepy Yoda's gotta come out too. He's gonna have to go on the top. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad news, guys. Um Oh, I see hiding behind you. I think somebody could fit on the new shelf. The porg. The porg's missing a toe. We're gonna have to recover that. But he'll look good sitting there. Although it's it's a little scary knowing that I'm gonna be sitting here watching movies and he's gonna be staring at me. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm having numb flashbacks right now. <gasps> That's how you're supposed to grab this. Don't grab it by the roof. Don't do what I did. I don't really have a plan yet, but I think we could fit two cars in each of these. Shells are filling up faster than I'd hoped for, but here's a look at all my crater cars sitting out here and an ideas car and the Harley, of course. One thing I don't like is how far out the Mustang sits. 
I can't put that back any further. So you kind of, if you look from above, it kind of pokes out a little bit, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal until you go to vacuum and you smash into the front of it. But we got to get some friends for this guy next. Come on, little buddy. Can you fit in there? Maybe you can. Sort of. Is that the front? Yeah. Okay. That's a cool little shelf there. Love the orange and white together. That's good. We got one more of these guys that needs to come, and that's Dio, of course. Dio is certainly not my favorite of the bunch, so I'm thinking what we're going to do here is put Dio in the back like this. Sorry, Dio. Still better than being in the storage room. And we'll go like that. He's just hiding back there. You can see him. Angry. What else do we have that can actually fit out there? Ollie. You, oh, don't fall off. I gotta dust all these things off. But um, I love Wally. We'll put him right there. Beautiful. There you go. My favorite Lego set of all time just hidden down here. People are gonna come over and think that I have a working Nintendo set up here. I could, but I don't. I don't know if this will fit or not, but I do love this Technic BMW. I love Lego motorcycles so much. Definitely like the Harley better than this one. But being that we do seem to have some extra space, put the kickstand down. We'll put that in there. Yeah, that's Oh, there we go. That's a little better. What do you guys think? Coming together. We got four spots left. Jeez. Guess the good news is I don't have too many smaller things to go up there. Oh, how about the Lunar Lander? If I could get it off the shelf. Oh, this is precarious. Okay, we're good. You guys don't know the backstory. All those shelves that I'm picking these off of, they used to be here. They used to be lining this entire wall where the projector screen is. But I decided that, you know, instead of having a table here of building Lego, just push it back a little bit. Then I can have a projector and a couch and coffee table and make this like a nice little living spot down here because I feel like I can enjoy movies and stuff like that or any kind of content really way more than just staring at sets that are sitting on shelves. Although having the best of both worlds here, I think is, is definitely a win. But We'll put the Lunar Lander here and try not to drop it. Again, everything needs dusted, so if anybody wants to come over and help me dust, I'll pay you in Lego. That leaves us with three spots. I know this is going to take up a square, but I love this. Oh my goodness, that has to go out. That's a picture of the Brickitect family in the old studio with a very young Clark man there. I'll put that right here. If it fits, barely. That's real nice. I'm happy to have that. Two spots. <laughs> I could put the Nintendo TV out there too. I think that'd be kind of a neat piece to go along with the Nintendo. It looks like we had some battle damage though. A little repair job there and it's fixed. I'm gonna have to put the antenna down. Like I said earlier, Clark Man is gonna be playing with this nonstop. I'm sure. We're gonna move the BMW over, I guess. There's really no rhyme or reason to how these things are set up, but I thought this might be kind of cool. Oh, you know what? Have this on the bottom. Sugar Shack. Have that on the bottom. Let me fix that real quick. Yeah, yeah. So you have the Nintendo down there, and then you have the television right on top of it. That's awesome. That is awesome. We got one spot left, boys. One spot, who gets it? Do I even have another thing to put out there that'll fit? Hmm. Her. I could put, could put the Slave 1 out there. Am I allowed to call this a Slave 1 still or do I have to call it Boba Fett's Starship? That kind of works. Move this out of the way and Take a gander at what the setup's gonna look like. So if you're sitting here, put your feet up and you can be watching a movie and admiring your lovely Lego sets down there. I'll give you another brief tour here as we kind of go through. You got the Boba Fett helmet. You got Grogue, Steamboat Willie, Carnage, Jeep, Volkswagens, 
You got the Lego duck, the wooden duck. You got the brick. You got the Fiat Mustang, Mini Cooper, the uh, Cataram. Not saying that right. The Harley, Wally, BB-8, Porg, Dio, Nintendo. You got the BMW, Lunar Lander, the Brickdeck family, and Boba Fett's not his starship it's the slave one that's where it stands right now of course this is always going to be changing and under construction because as new sets come out i want to rotate so new things are going to be popping in down there but we're not done yet we still have this shelf over here this is a this is a disaster area we're going to put some cool stuff out here this top shelf this really needs to be on point because that's where the big sets are going to go everything else i don't know i don't know how much we're going to be able to fit on here but we do have some pretty stuff on there and Clark Man stuff. I can't tear that apart. Can't tear that apart. This guy, yeah, I think he can go. I got a little something set up here on the shelf. Just know that this isn't going to be permanent. It's always going to be moving, changing. But this top shelf, oh my goodness, some of my personal favorites up here. We've got Darth Maul, one of my favorite Lego sets of all time. My least favorite set of all time that I built. This is in terms of the building process. We got Creepy Yoda, of course, Voltron, D2. And we got Grievous, and man, does that shelf look awesome. I'm a little sad my Lego display back there, the mosaic is kind of hidden, but that's really the only place I could put these guys. I might thin it out a little bit. I'll have to get your opinions on that. But as we move down here, oh man, one of the 10 sets in my top five list, we have the Batmobile from 1989. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. We also have the DC CMFs over here with the little display that I made. And then down below here, we got space. This is either going to be a tumbler, most likely a tumbler, or the Bugatti. I think the, the tumbler will be built first. But right now it's just housing a couple of Clark's builds that I kind of love, so I kept them there. As you can see, I have these coins kind of all over the place here. I installed my Apple TV next down here. That's not Lego related, but I put that in. That way we can watch stuff on the projector using that. We got the bonsai tree which could also go over there again I could start moving stuff around if I want in fact it might be good to put that over there and move the Mustang over here even though that would kind of break up my flow uh, we've got the fire creeper down here from Clark man the VIP for Octan we've got the Porsche for you elitists everyone else we have the Porsche again that could be the Bugatti or the Bugatti could be here as well I do have to do some cable management back there we've got some Cata tank action we've got the Cata Porsche Ode to Porsche up here but that's where it's at right now again I have a ton of stuff that's just too tall to fit over here so what I think I'm gonna do and this I'm kind of out of time today but I've got this space over here that's really unused and I think one of those black wire shelves that I have could easily fit here it wouldn't influence anything and I could fit a bunch of my favorites on there or maybe we get another shelf that's white like this but again we're gonna be restricted with the with the height I think but we'll see I'll see what I can do on Amazon might have something coming in over here to fill this spot but yeah I'm pretty happy with this especially this like that that makes a huge difference all that stuff was just sitting in storage ever since I brought this projector situation in which was like I think at the very end of last year so the stuff finally sees daylight again at least a little bit as much as can come in through those windows metaphorically they see daylight and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the way this looks. That looks really nice, especially with the Batmobile. This, I'm I'm split on with having that much stuff up there. But Darth Maul certainly needs to be up there because when I do missing pieces, nothing would make me happier than Darth Maul staring at you guys in the background. It's going to creep everybody out. I love creepy Lego. I love stuff that's on display. It's probably my favorite stuff to collect. Creepy Lego, Lego vehicles, and CMFs. I just... And any kind of minifig, really. I just I just love it. I love mechs and robots. Yeah, I just can't get enough. I can't get enough of this stuff. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video showing off my new temporary, maybe permanent display. We'll see how that goes. But this is, this is just awesome. And I'm very excited to have this stuff out here. So on that, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day. And we'll see you in the next video.